Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Ace Overlord, and I'm back again bringing you some more TF2 gameplay commentary. And today, I'm playing as the soldier on the defending side for CP Dust Bowl. Dust Bowl is one of my favorite control point maps, and I especially like the second stage of the three stages of Dust Bowl, mostly because the first stage I find it too easy for the attacking side to get both points very quickly, and the third stage, I find it to be like a long hallway type layout. And it's definitely good for spy, but whenever I try to like play something else, I don't really like how it works out. And you can disagree with me, but you know, it's just my opinion. But this second stage right here, I really find it the best, because it really challenges both sides to get that one point. No, it's not too easy for Red to defend by putting up a bunch of, bunch of sentries like it is in the third stage and it's not that easy to just bum rush it like it is in the first stage. So like I said before, I'm playing as the soldier. My weapons that I have equipped right now are the Black Box, the Conqueror, and the Disciplinary Action. Now this loadout, I like to call it the Healing Soldier, mostly because almost every item that I have equipped here can heal me in some way except for the Disciplinary Action. Now if you don't know what I'm really talking about, maybe you're a little new to TF2, I will explain the weapons a little bit. The black box, whenever you do damage to an enemy, it doesn't matter how much damage you do or how far away the enemy is, as long as you do damage to an enemy, you will get 15 health back. This does not apply to like buildings such as sentries or dispensers, but as long as you hit an enemy player. The downside or I don't really find it a downside, what some people find it as a downside, is instead of four rockets, you only get three. No, I don't really have a problem with that. I can still work perfectly fine with only three rockets, but some people prefer, you know, four, so that's why they stick with maybe the default launcher, and I can understand that completely. The second item that I have equipped, the Conqueror, what this will do is you will build up rage by doing damage to enemy players, and like the buff banner and the battalion's backup, you will blow a horn, except this time it is a shell. And it will provide an aura for yourself and teammates, and also, I believe, give you a speed boost. And when you do damage to enemies while this is active, you will get health back, and so will your teammates. So it's very good to maybe get out of tight situations where you're taking a lot of damage, and then you use your black box and discipline. Oh, not disciplinary action, the Conqueror in tandem, so that way you will get a bunch of health back. As you can see right here, I build up my rage, and then I move right on in on a bunch of enemies, and I get a bunch of health back, and I'm able to kill off that heavy pretty easily. So my tactic for building up the rage is most of the enemies are coming out of that right hallway there where the NG has a teleporter set up. But there are a few who are coming out this other way here, you know, where I am. And when they do that, I'm attacking them, and by doing that, I'm building up the rage. And as soon as I get enough, I rush into here with my Conqueror active, and then I usually take out quite a few of them. As you see there, me and that medic with the Crits Creek did quite a lot of damage to that group of enemies that were coming out of the doorway. Now most of this video is actually just one life, and after that, after like, you know, maybe 5 minutes, 45 seconds, somewhere around there, it's just a few highlights from the rest of the match, because this match was pretty long, so I didn't want you guys just to experience all of that, that would be a pretty long video. I try to keep them mostly under 10 minutes, or around 10 minutes. Now you might notice something different about the video, or rather, the audio, is that I've been tweaking around with Audacity a little bit and I was able to get rid of that bug buzzing noise that was coming out of my mic if you watched my first video there was a bunch of boys buzzing when the mic started in the beginning of the video and you know throughout the video so I was able to get rid of that and you might notice it my voice may sound a little smoother I guess you could say but throughout this channel's life I'll probably learn a lot more things that will make this channel better and the videos greater. And also, if you're wondering about the black bars that are on the side of the screen, I apologize for those, but 
my computer monitor isn't really a gaming monitor it's more of like a business monitor so the resolution that works for TF2 is 4 colon 3 1280 by 1024 I know it's a pretty weird resolution and whenever I have you know 16 colon 9 with the 1280 by 720 it's really it distorted and stuff so until I get a new monitor or I find something out that I can do it's probably gonna have those black bars but hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much so right now this is actually where I die it was pretty weird death I rocket jump up here because I see a bunch of enemies coming in and I was focusing more on looking forward and not about that spy who just did like a sidestab on me so I uh, cut a little later into the video and this is pretty much one of the highlights I was talking about right now we have pushed them back pretty far into their little tunnel there and the only time they're really coming out is when they have an uber ready with their heavy So right now we're in pretty good shape and as long as we continue doing what we're doing now we should win so right now these guys are poking over the tunnel trying to maybe get a few rockets in on us and I just won't have that I managed to take them out and get my conqueror full so now that I have that ready I'm thinking about rushing in there and getting a few kills but it looks like my team has already taken care of that so instead I'm running right here in front of the door still nobody there so I'm guessing they're still respawning and teleporting in the soldier however drops down and so is the scout so right now they're doing quite a bit of damage to me so I'm going to grab this health back use my conqueror and once again rush in this method works really well and since you get the speed buff they usually can never hit you with any projectiles or bullets unless I guess it's a heavy and that was pretty embarrassing there I thought that they might have taken out the sentry by then or taken out the entire nest but they didn't and I'm not complaining you know I still do very well throughout this match so right here is pretty much the ending of the match only 30 seconds left on the clock no major push is really coming out for them so right now we're just holding down and waiting for the win pretty much and since I know we're pretty much going to win and that guy's complaining like look at him oh this team is so stupid no, you're stupid. Whatever your name is, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Right now I'm getting, you know, a little cocky right here. Pretty much trying to harass them any way I can. I get, I believe that was a crit rocket on two random guys. And this pyro happens to take me out, so that's what I get. And right here is the win. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and comment with some feedback. I could really use it. And I'll see you all next time.